What's going on YouTube? Just thought I'd make a little video here, show you what we've been working on or what we're working on, show you how we did it. Um, we have the 54 uh, Hudson uh, Coupe by Mobius. And we have some designs and stuff that we've got taped up that we want to keep. Uh, what we're going to be focusing on is around the body. Um, I'm going to show you, take you on a little trip, show you how I did it. Um, so we got the hood here. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it a whole lot or real well or not. Uh, I've got the light down here, so you should. Uh, but what it is is like a marbleized effect. Um, and then I've taken a scallop decal and laid that down. And then I've taken um, a candy, this uh, candy 2.0. Uh, I've taken that and then sprayed over top of it to give it that deep red look. So how you can see right through it, you know, see right through the, the color of it. Um, and that's what we're going to be working on right now around this. Um, I'm going to take, uh, first of all, we're going to take some silver sealer and we're going to spray it. Really, well, not real thick, but to where you get a nice wet coat down on it. And then we're gonna take a piece of, uh, I don't, all right, so now as I was saying, I didn't have everything I needed right here by me. Uh, I take the silver sealer, um, and I spray that all over it, give it a good coating, and then I'll take uh, plastic saran wrap stuff, and I'll just take it, and I'll have some in my hand, and I'll just dab it on there. And what that does, it'll pick up a lot of that paint, leave different designs in it. Um, and then once the silver sealer dries, I'll come back. I've got um, a Wicked Pearl White that I do the same thing with. It kind of highlights it a little bit. just gives it a little brighter effect on top of the silver sealer. Um, and I'll show you how I do that now, actually. I've got, uh, I've got my booth going, my spray booth. And our brush is all ready to go. So we'll give her a quick go here. We got our airbrush loaded up see there now I'll step over here I'll spray this in my booth and I'll be right back when I start sticking a plastic to it so you can see what's going on all right so there you go we have the silver sprayed on it and then we're just going to lay the plastic right down on it don't be shy with the stuff then you peel it off you can wad it up in your hand and just dabble on it and get an even more effect like that now you can let that dry um, and like I say I'll come back with the white I'll do the same thing and then I'll dab it off and I'll, I'll show you that too uh, right now I'm just going to keep going around the rest of the car um, and get it all this silver like that and then I'll be back to show you the white so as promised came back uh, we got the, the, the silver sprayed on there uh, we took our um, plastic to it. We got it all all over the body now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back and do the same thing with this pearl white. Now this pearl white is a little bit different because it's um, it's not as thick as the silver sealer, and it doesn't take much of it to cause an, to create an effect. Um, so I'm just going to put a, a light coat of the, of the white on here, and you'll see. Um, I'm going to do that now. Now you don't have to use these colors. You can use any colors you want to achieve this effect. This is just the colors that I'm using for this build here. Um, I think the silver just shows up really well with the black and under the candy, so that's why I chose to, to use it. Let's see, got it on there now. And you can just come back with your plastic. It just adds a little highlight in some places. What's going on? My camera froze. Um you know it just adds a little a little highlight in some places basically um, and then we'll let that dry we'll come back and um, show you what we do for the next step the next step is pretty self-explanatory we just spray everything in a coat of clear just to seal it in 
Okay, so here we are, ready to go with the next step. Um, we'll go back a little bit. Now what we've done is, since the last time you saw it, last time you saw it, I was doing the pearl white uh, marbleization on here. Um, within that step and where we are now, all I've done is I've shot a coat of clear on it just to seal everything in. And then I've put um, a few of these scallop um, decals on here. And that's all I've done is just shot clear on it, put those decals on. So uh, the candy we're going to be using is this Candy 2O. It's an auto air colors. I get this from Hobby Lobby uh, back where their Wicked Colors is. Um, now you can, and this one here is a blood red color. And um, that's, that's what it looks like. It's not showing up very well in the light course but um, that's that's what it looks like it's a dark it's just a dark red basically um, now a lot of people mix this I don't mix it just because it's pretty thin as it is um, it's supposed to be thin it's, it's a candy you know they're thin colors um, but it says uh, it gives you uh, measurements to mix with here on the bottle on the back this says uh, 10 to 25 percent per volume, and I'm and, and what I use to mix my auto air colors is this 4012 high performance reducer, um, and that's what I would suggest reducing this with. Um, it works really well. Um, yeah, but anyway, so this candy is our next step on this car, and I'm going to go ahead and spray that now, um, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now for this step, we have, oh, about, about wrecked it there, didn't I? But anyway, uh, where we're at is, we've got the candy sprayed on her now. Um, it doesn't look the same anymore. It looks different now, but that's okay. Because um, once we get to clear on this thing, and we start polishing it out and rubbing it out, it's going to come to life. You'll be able to see every little thing in it and uh, that's what we want uh, i'm really liking the way this is looking uh, when you're doing stuff like this don't get discouraged because um right now it doesn't look the greatest um, but like i say once you get to clear on it and you start polishing out that's when it comes to life and looks really nice uh, we've got four coats of clear on here now uh, we've gone and done all our bare metal foil um, we sealed that in the clear coat as well. Uh, we've added a few decals back here, some pinch striping, and then like a little, a uh, little logo there. Um, and it's not, it's got, like I say, it's got four coats of clear on it. Um, it's not real shiny like we like our models to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting this back, um, just wet sanding to get it cut back and real smooth. I uh, will have to be careful and not cut through the clear coat though, but um, as long as I don't go too crazy with it, I should be okay. As it's got, um, I say it's got four coats on it, so we should be should be all right. Um, I am going to do a video series on that as well, as I've done it with a couple of models with a model in the past, um, and I didn't go through step by step. So I've been getting, I get quite a few questions on her still to this day about how I do this or how I do that. So uh, I think I'm just going to do a whole new video series on it, go step by step on what I do. And I'm going to use this body as a template or this paint job as a template for that. Um, I've already been working on the hood a little bit. And what I did was I went back after I did, um, after I got to this point here, I took 1500 uh, sandpaper. And just cut it back basically to where it was real smooth and nice and then i come back and i put two more coats of clear on it and then um what i'm going to do is i'll come back and put another coat of clear um and then i'll start polishing it out from there but this has got its final final stage of clear on it now um and then this is ready to start polishing out basically um, to get it that good wet look shine on it. I mean it already looks good, but it will look so much better 
um, and then this paint the paint will start coming alive more and you'll be able to see more details as far as uh, the marbleized effect and the lace on the top and everything like that but this is what we're going for for the rest of this body and I, I will be going along like I say doing a how-to video series on that as well uh, so I think that concludes the paint um, the paint part of this series uh, so I'll get this video uploaded and you guys can see it and then um, we'll let this thing cure for a day or two uh, and then like I say we'll start doing the, the polish and cutting back on it and stuff like that um, so until then I'll talk to you guys later cup just isn't big enough.